dynamic pricing in e-commerce. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today, we're gonna to talk about a whole thing called dynamic pricing and whether you have an e-commerce element of your business or not, it's something to keep in mind because it brings in a whole lot of factors that we talk about a lot. One thing is pricing strategy. Another thing is trust. And this is kind of one of the main drawbacks behind dynamic pricing. I'm gonna tell you what dynamic pricing is in a second, but first, I wanted to bring up dreambizchat.com. If you haven't heard of dreambizchat.com, it's a special place just for owners and executives, decision makers of companies that are in the self-reliance field. So if you have products and services that help people to become more self-reliant, you're gonna wanna go check out dreambizchat.com. It's all about the dream business transformation. The link is in the description. Go and check it out. Uh, let's talk about dynamic pricing though. Dynamic pricing, what that is, is when you set up your pricing to change based on an algorithm, uh, especially when you're talking about e-commerce, you can do it right on the back end of your website. So you can say that uh, once the, the uh, your inventory has gone down for a particular item, that the price goes up by a certain ex uh, extent. Or you, you could say that once demand is rising during a certain period of time, your price can go up. And vice versa, same thing can occur. If you, if you have a, a, a large amount of inventory and there hasn't been much movement on an item, you could automatically have the price decrease. And you can set all the parameters for these type of things. Where's the problem with that? It makes sense from a retailer's end, but the only issue that I see with it, it may work very good depending on your market, but if you are looking to bring back regular purchasers, regular buyers, regular customers, if you want them to come back over and over again, it's really tough if they're not expecting for prices to change. If they save or bookmark that particular item and they come back and they see that the price has changed drastically, especially if it's changed in a bad way where from their perspective, the price goes up, um, that's not gonna, that, that destroys trust because they don't know why the price has gone up or they don't know why the price goes low sometimes and then it goes up another time. If it changes too drastically, that can destroy trust from people. Uh, I mean, th think about if they bought it before, if they bought the item before and they come back and it's extremely discounted, but it doesn't say clearly that it's on sale or that there's a reason for the discount or what have you. See, that this is why putting things on sale, it's important to have a reason why it's on sale. Because it, same as if, if you have to raise a price, you it's really good to be able to say why you're doing it. it. You can do it all the time. You can raise prices and still get a lot of people interested. But you gotta say that we have limited amounts. We have a limited inventory of this item. We only have five left. So the price is going up as it's going down. You have to explain these things. If you don't explain it, you very much risk having a customer be a regular customer. Pricing is something that's very sensitive because it, as we've discussed on previous, previous encounters here, price is something that people, they tie directly to the value of the product. If something is too inexpensive, Sometimes people will not purchase it because it seems too good to be true. Why would, how good can it be if it's that inexpensive? Whereas oftentimes if things are pricier, people will purchase it more often because they see that there's value in it because it has a high price. When someone's looking to get something of real high quality, they don't tend to focus on the cheapest. But, and it goes the other way. If someone's looking for something cheap and quick and easy and they don't care as much about quality, they're not gonna care, they're not gonna look at the high end, they're gonna look at the low end first. Some of this stuff's common sense, but you can't, you, you can't believe how often I've dealt with larger companies that don't understand 
the basic psychology of pricing strategy. And these are all things you have to take into account when you're setting up algorithms to run your pricing because you can very much run your customers away in the opposite direction if you're not careful. It's all about trust. In the end, long-term relationships when it comes to commerce, if you're looking to have a long-term relationship with your customer, you have to have that trust established and you gotta keep it nice and fresh and real. If people think that there is a machine deciding <laughs> how much they're gonna have to pay, you, you, might, you might end up scaring a lot of people away. So just something to keep in mind. Hey, hopefully this is helpful to you. If you'd like to be able to discuss some of the details of your business, maybe your pricing strategy and whether it's, it's in good taste and in the right direction or if you're scaring customers away, it could be that a simple change in price on some of your most regular products or services that, you're, that, that you uh, exchange in the most can dynamically change your business overnight where you can double, triple, quadruple your profits overnight just by having a more in tune pricing strategy. If you'd like to be able to discuss that, go to brianjpombo.com and set up a strategy session with me. I'd be happy to be able to sit down, take a look at your numbers and see if we can come up with something that's useful. And if you don't talk to me, talk to somebody, get somebody on your team that understands these concepts because pricing is tied directly to your relationship with your customer. Hey, we're coming back tomorrow with another, <laughs> with another concept of either a principle, a strategy, or a tactic that you can use directly in your business. Come on back, subscribe, go to brianjpombo.com and watch previous episodes. We'll see you then. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.